I got a serious question for you. What's that? We've been together for 25 years. We have been married for 21 years. Mm -hmm. I saw a post on Instagram that posed a very interesting question. Mm -hmm. It was a lady that had been married for over 45 years. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Um, so the question that I have is, is it your fellatio that's kept me here for the last 21 years? No. It's not your fellatio? No. She seems to think that good head <laughs> is the key <laughs> to just me being honest. Her, her thought was good head is what has kept her husband happy for 45 years. So I guess, let me, let me set this up for the viewer just so y'all know exactly what I'm saying. Um, and oh, oh, let me add fuel to the fire. I believe they were in church. They were. They were. So this is a conversation they were. They were. that is happening they were. in church. I think it was actually like a, con either a marriage conference or a singles conference, something right. like that, because I, I did see the same thing. Okay. Um, but for those that didn't see it, they were in church. They were having a conference, and a question was asked to an older couple. They've been together for 45 years. What has kept them together? And they specifically asked a woman, and she said, Give the me yeah, she, her words was, was suck that dick. Suck, suck, that's, exactly. that's what she said. That's, she that's said. what she said. Suck that D. So, um, to one point, I will say that it is good to have a healthy sex life. I it, definitely agree. It's good to have a healthy sex life. Um, that is not taboo. It is something that it is something that should be had should be had in a in a in a marriage. Mm -hmm. um, but not just a healthy sex life. You have to have a healthy relationship all around. And that requires communication. Um, that does require um, not just sex, but intimacy. So, um, so what is, what is, I guess my follow-up would be, what is the difference? Or how do we decipher what is the difference between sex and then Sex intimacy? is penetration. Sex is penetration. I think I had a good thought, like, or a good, a good... Uh, analogy. Mm -hmm. If I take a Coca-Cola bottle, mm -hmm. I take a soda, mm -hmm. I keep the top on it, mm -hmm. and I shake it up, mm -hmm. and then I re release that top, mm -hmm. I'm going to get a reaction, mm -hmm. right? The friction of me shaking. And this is gonna be. I was gonna do that too, and I'm somebody's or, or, gonna or, take this or, and, or do it this way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Either way. laughs> but the 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 force of me shaking this bottle mm -hmm. is going to cause a reaction, mm -hmm. right? And we understand, just like you said. Sex equals penetration. So penetration friction is going to eventually cause a reaction. Cause a reaction. Mm -hmm. If done correctly. Good point. If done correctly. If done correctly. <laughs> let's, let's not leave that out there. If done correctly, it should cause a reaction. But, um, yeah, it, it. in order for a relationship to last, it has to be... All factors have to be there. Physically, emotionally, sexually, financially. Mm -hmm. All of those things have to hit. Mm -hmm. It can't be one more than the other. One person can't give more than the other. It is not 50-50. It is 100-100. Um, there, there may be days where you are on 60 and I got to come in and get out of the 40. There may be days that I say, I only got 40% and you got to come in and give 60. Yep. It, 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 it'll never be the same every day. Um, but you have to have two willing partners that are willing to work together to make the greater good. Um, I just seen a thing earlier. I think you sent it to me and it, it was in regards to people making kids the center of their relationship. Yes. Yes. That can't be. Because just like he said, the kids, they gonna grow up, they gonna leave. Then what you got? Very true. If nothing is put, if nothing is put on into the relationship between mom and dad, then it's gonna fold. And whether that be before the kids get grown or after the kids get grown. I would hate for you to be with some, you know, to be in a relationship and you're only staying for the kids. Cause soon as that, that last kid hit 18, oh, you're yeah, gone. You're gone. Right, right. And then what do we have? What do you have? 
who have we grown to become how do we treat each other yeah um you said something to me the other day and I, i'm sure you got this off the line but it, it made total sense it was like uh the the hardest hood to grow up in or the hardest hood is adulthood mm -hmm. and i i heavily believe that yes like you know we we all said well i know I, I remember me saying it, well, no I, it was what's the worst thing you said as a child oh i want to be an adult something like that yep, yeah yep yep like that's it like as a kid you think i'm ready to be grown i'm ready to be grown not understanding what comes with being grown mm -hmm. and had parents back then actually said, oh, you want to be grown? Hit the rent. Hit the lights. Hit the water. Hit your phone. Hit the insurance. Hit the carpet. You'd be like, whoa, 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 right, whoa, right, whoa. Right. Hold up. Mm -mm, time out. Pump your brakes. Pump your brakes. That was just the stuff <laughs> for us to, to survive in this world. Like, yeah. you know, we talked about the, the extra basketball <laughs> practices, football well, pads, yeah, yeah, gymnastics, yeah. leotards, yeah, you ain't soccer about, equipment. We ain't talked about none, none of that. that. That's just the basics. Right. So it's like if, if parents would stop pulling the wool over the kids eyes and stop shielding from them shielding them mm -hmm. from the world kids would understand okay hold on be let, let me slow walk this thing let me actually enjoy being a kid right. let me let me not rush it because it's gonna come there's gonna be a time where i don't have a choice where i have to do this mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's i i i definitely know with uh, even without what with, i'll say with our kids i know what my daughter what our daughter uh, she has her own business, so she sees a piece of it mm -hmm. because she has to make sure that her business is fun, you know, is moving, so she can fund her business. Right. So just in her having to do that little bit of stuff alone, she's like, "Nah, I'm good. I'm yeah, good." She, she, <laughs> and I get it. So for, for for context for people, mommy and daddy still run the business day-to-day -day operations. Yes. Talia is the creative. Talia yes. is making your custom candle pieces. Yes. Yes. One hundred percent of the time. Yes. We are managing websites. We are setting up yes. uh, the vendor events. We are networking with all of the. So if y'all know any vendor events that you know, the, the, yeah, y'all hit us up. Send them. Send them this way. Hit us up. Hit us up. <laughs> um, but not to not to go off on a tangent and jump too far off the subject. Uh. But again, I think the day-to-day -day operations of being an adult is how we lose sight of, well, who were we mm -hmm. before the children? What was exactly. the foundation that me and you built, built that said we want to be, we want to spend the rest of our lives together? Mm -hmm. And then we start a family because that's a part of the process. Mm -hmm. We want to we see ourselves. We want to see ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, it gets hard because now we paying for basketball practices and the life, cars as, and as we say, we're life still life. going to work, dealing with the entities and the energies at work. Mm -hmm. Then we got to come home and then make do, hamburger do helper for the kids. <laughs> and yeah, and we're tired. And mm -hmm. now I'm looking at you like, where is that that sex thing that we started off talking mm -hmm, about? Mm -hmm. And one of us is saying <laughs> not tonight. And, and then and was that, problem, exactly what that one that one not tonight and then the next one i you know if, if it's me one night next night it could be you mm -hmm. it, it just and it could be a cycle to where you find yourself okay hold on this hasn't been done where's our intimacy where's our time together right. and then and then it, it it can grow a resentment when you're looking at one parent I'm just going to use you. I'm looking at you interact with the kids and you're having all this wonderful, glorious time with the kids. And I'm saying, well, dang, where's my time? Mm -hmm. Or it could be reversed around to where you see me spending time with the kids and I'm all in 100% with them. And then you looking, you thinking like, well, dang, where's my time? Again, you, there's resentment when there's no time spent with the partners. Mm -hmm. As parents, we got to say, okay, we've done for the kids. We've done this. We've done that. We've done all of this other stuff. Where's our time? Right. You have to have that time. Right. It's very important. You have to still date. Just because you get married does not mean it's done. It's not. It's more to it than that. 
you have to continue dating each other. You have to continue spending time with each other. And I think we saw something, it was like a 777 uh, every seven days you do uh, every seven days you go on a cheap date yeah. every seven weeks you spend 24 hours together. together and then every, every seven, seven months, months you go on a vacation, vacation. yeah and you gotta spend but it, in, even with that spend time even if it's nothing at the end of, when you at the end of the night before you guys go to sleep if you do nothing but spend an hour together without your phones in each other's presence and talk and it sometimes you may not even talk have to talk but just alone being in the presence with each other some kind of conversation will come up this is definitely something that i had to learn because before we got to this level of communication in our relationship mm -hmm. i ain't gonna lie it used to hurt me because and let me set this up for y'all i of course we both work from home now so i would be upstairs editing and because i've been out shooting all day she's been at work when she got off work, I'm in the office editing. We share an office. She would literally sit on the couch and just be around me. We're not having conversations. She's quiet because, again, I'm editing. I'm editing the music video. I'm listening to the music, whatever, whatever. She's just really just sitting here. We're not talking. We're not doing anything. And it used to frustrate me feeling like, well, you're kind of wasting this time. Because then we weren't communicating and she's saying, well, I just want to be in your presence. And I, I couldn't understand that. <laughs> I could not understand that for anything. But now that we've grown, it started to make sense because, yes, I felt that same way with you being basically locked to your desk for nine hours a day. Mm -hmm. And me being daddy daycare, still having to go out and complete these shoots, conduct these podcasts, whatever. Uh I wanted your time and I couldn't always get it. So it became to the point to where she gets off work at nine o'clock. I am done by 10 o'clock, no matter where I am in my edit. I'm done for the day because from 10 o'clock until we fall asleep, that is her time. That is our time. Mm -hmm. And that is, in my opinion, tremendously helped us it grow has. in love and relationship and everything. It has. Um, but then too, all right, so now we're going to circle back to this sex thing because this is this may contradict a podcast or something that i said a Previously. while ago mm -hmm. that sex is not important so i still stand by that statement i don't want nobody to sex is awesome <laughs> i love it i want it as much as i can get it but it's not the act of sex that's important no what we what i had to learn is it's sexual intimacy mm -hmm. that i am actually seeking mm -hmm. And once I figured out that she's around me, she's in my presence, that is a part of the intimacy, then we were able to grow. Mm -hmm. So I did, and I, I, brought, I kept my phone in my hand because uh, I did see something on Instagram speaking about sexual intimacy. Mm -hmm. And what it says is sex in a marriage becomes better when it becomes sexual intimacy. So then it says when the focus becomes on pleasing your spouse... I definitely agree. When the priority is to deeply connect, mm -hmm. when it is not treated as a chore or an expectation. And mm -hmm. I think we've seen a lot of times, I've seen a lot of communication that says mm -hmm. sometimes men or women withhold sex for whatever reason. And that's crazy. They use it as a power. I, that's crazy. I don't understand that. I, I, I have never supported that theory ever. It is retarded on so many levels. To do that, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you, you that, were good. You that, were good. That, 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 to me, withholding sex, you're not punishing the person. I agree with that. You're punishing yourself. I agree with that as well. Because what if, if I'm just gonna say this? If if the person, if you suspect that they're doing something, so you figure I'm a withhold. You just opened the door. You took the words directly out of my mouth. I was I was absolutely going to You say, opened the door. You said go do it cuz I'm not going to give it to you. So go over there. Like but then if I do that now are you you're upset with me? I'm I'm wrong, which technically I am because I've stepped outside the realms of our relationship. But at the end of the that. day, at the end of the day, 
if my part if you're if you are coming if you are going to your partner and your partner is turning you down to me you're you're bas- you're belittling me like i am you're saying my needs are not important right so then at that point, what am I supposed to do? It's either I'm going to see the faux hoes on Thumb Street or I'm going to say I'm going to find me a hoe uh, on Thumb Street. <laughs> that was probably a bad <laughs> But it's the truth. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's the truth. You don't and you and that's the thing. You don't want any you don't want to open the door for any kind of negative energy to come in. Right. And when you with are withholding communication, sex, if you're withholding any part, emotional, physical, financial, anything, if you're withholding something, mm-hmm. you are opening the door for negative energy to come into your into your marriage. And when you open that door, it's hard to close it. I can see that. It's hard to close it. So if you don't want it to come in you don't want any anything anything any negative energy to come in or anyone anyone to come in through that door right don't open it okay that's good that's good so let's tie this all the way back mm-hmm. again this was a couple this is in a at a church conference whatever whatever mm-hmm. why is it taboo to talk about sex at church like this isn't a part it of shouldn't life. be it shouldn't be it shouldn't be. It, it should be something that's discussed in the church, number one, because if God made marriage, which he did, right, he made sex as well. There's a whole book in the Bible, the what is it, the Song of Solomon. Mm-hmm. And this is all it's talking it's, it's one of the shortest books, but it's, so, it's about again, a again, relationship between a man and a woman. If you haven't read it, pick up your Bible and read, read it. it. Again, how can you tell someone to save themselves until marriage if you're not going to talk about what comes with sex. Mm-hmm. You're telling me to save myself into marriage. Okay, then I get married in what? You're not, ex- yeah. you're not saying, okay, um, once you get married, you got to consummate the marriage. What's that? Right. And then you, you, you got someone that's young and they don't know what sex is. If if their parent hasn't taught them what sex was, or they listened to the world teach them what sex is, or they watched porn tell them what sex is, porn is not okay. That's not it. That's number one. That ain't real. Porn is very fake. It's, it's very fake. This is acting. It's very fake. It is not real. But if you don't have someone that can truly tell you exactly what it is that you're getting into, you're gonna be in for a rude awakening. Um, a lot of, sometimes you, you get it to where the man, the man is more experienced than the woman. Um, and it can come off as a shocker to the female as about what's going to go down. Mm -hmm. Um, and transparency. I was a hoe. She was a good girl. And I think this is a great segue because I have a term that I want to introduce mm-hmm. because I think you have embodied this <laughs> and you can help inspire and motivate other couples <laughs> on how to be, specifically ladies, on how to be, and nobody steal this, I need to trademark this. Is there a such thing, I, I believe there is, is there a such thing as being a holy slut? Yes, Absolutely. Yes, absolutely, yes. absolutely. Because at the end of the day, I, I love I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Yes, you were a good girl. Yeah, <laughs> I love the Lord. I was a hoe. I was. I was. But a, I also love my husband. I'm not ashamed to say it. I, I love my husband, and there's not anything that it, there's not anything that I would not do for you, including the fellatio. That's how we started. This <laughs> including the fellatio. The, the lady said, <laughs> "Okay, I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time." That's okay. No, no, no. I mean, I'm trying to get somewhere later. <laughs> Sexually, there is not a door. It's not in a window that I would not open for you. So no, that's not. That's not. That's not. not neither here nor there. But when it comes to, when it comes to us, or not even this us, 
when it comes to your marriage, you want to be able to say, yes, I love God. But when I get behind them doors, or when I, not even them doors, when I'm with my, my husband, my boo, my partner, my thing, my, my one. I think I heard it in a rap song a long time ago. A lady in the streets, but a freak, freak in, in the, the sheets. Bed. Or freak, freak in the sheets. Yes. Like that. Lady in the street, freak in the sheets. You absolutely right. Because what, what I'm not going to do is allow your eye to wander somewhere else. For you to see something else and wonder, ooh, I wonder what that, mm, 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 mm. That's good, that's good. No, 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 no. We've been through the wandering eye phase. Every man going to go through it at some point in his life. I don't want to hear nobody say, oh, no, he wouldn't, he wouldn't. I said he wouldn't and he did. So, no. Nah. <laughs> we we passed that. Mm-hmm. But at this point in our, in our, where we are right now. There's not anything in this world that I wouldn't do for you. Likewise. And when it comes to your partner, you want to make sure that when you say this is your partner, this is your boo, when you say I do, understand what you're saying I do too. Don't say I do to an idea. Ooh, that's good. Um, when you say I do to an idea... That idea could last for a year, two, three. But then when you get to the point where you don't think your idea has checked all your marks, then you start looking at other places. So discuss your ideas with your partner before you say I do. Yes, you you that was gonna be my comment. You we we need to definitely have a discussion or a conversation about comfort and what we're into mm -hmm. and then be open mm -hmm. to discover things that we might end up liking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. never be afraid to try anything never like. never and the other thing one people one thing people have to realize is in in the bible it says i can't remember the exact scripture so do not quote me on this but i i've heard it said that the marital bed cannot be defiled so what me and you do together, can't nobody come between that. You've said that a lot. Yes. What me and you do together, can't, can't nobody come between that. If your partner is into something, don't say, ew, I ain't doing that. That might be you pushing them out the door. Because, again, what you won't do. There is somebody out there who will. And then you're going to say, well, if you can find them, go ahead and do it. Oh, be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. Because you could have someone that got it all. And they want you to do this one thing. And you're not willing to budge over this one thing. And you're going to give up 90%. And end up with either 20% or no percent over this one thing. Over this one thing. That's good. I, 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 I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't either. I, 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 I don't understand why people put limits on what they'll do with their partner. Who they said I do to. Why you put limits. On what you'll do. Shouldn't be. Definitely shouldn't be. Definitely shouldn't be. I agree with you 100%. Um, I honestly ain't got nothing else to talk about. I, I, Y'all don't know how this started. I can't tell you how this started. <laughs> if I told you how this started. We would have to take this to OnlyFans. We're not doing that. <laughs> the way that she greeted me when I got home. Was amazing. Amazing. Ladies, so keep just, no. Go ahead. Keep your man on his toes. Keep Facts. your man on toes. Yeah. Keep yeah. your man on his toes. You and greet him in different ways. Never greet him the same way. Always be happy to see your partner. Um, oh, and always happy to come. <laughs> on. Matter of fact, I'm done talking. Listen, 
Buy these candles. <laughs> Since by Yaya is the sponsor, shout out to our daughter. Yes. You need these candles. You need your house to smell good. Since by Yaya.com, 100% soy wax, safe for the environment. Support a, a black entrepreneur, a kid boss, a future pilot, an artist, all of that. Stay tuned for more content. Um, what you want us to talk about, man? You want to? You want our opinion on something? Let us know that. Yes. Drop it down. Yes. Send us a DM. Put it in the comments of this video. All that good stuff. But yeah, we've been sitting here talking about sex. We grown. I got something to go take care of. Y'all, I'll see y'all later.